Hey, gravitation with the observation. I'm not saying I'm right. I'm not saying I'm wrong. I say gravitation with the observation. I'm not saying I'm right. I'm not saying I'm wrong. Now, real talk, man. Um, first and foremost, bro, to be honest, real, like real, like real, real, real talk, like real, real, real rap. This video right here, I'm not telling people to go kill police. I'm not encouraging to go kill police. I'm not encouraging to do anything to law enforcement at all. But like I say, I'm gravitation with the observation. It's just something that's just been on my mind for a minute now. And I like to talk to my old heads and my old heads, you know, break me down. And we were talking about something last night that uh, really was just like living rent free in my head. Like, damn, you know, the whole night pretty much, bro. And, um, so Pete, like, like I say, cause you know, I'm just trying to use my words carefully. You feel me? And I hope nobody, you know, don't get offended or whatever the case might be. <clears throat> I really want to, you know, want to be able to convey my message without, you know, without the BS going on. But, um, speaking to, speaking to my brothers, right? Speaking to my brothers. When we talk about killing or laying down the ops, right? Everything is smooth, right? Everything is smooth. Like, oh, okay, bam. You feel me? We're going to lay down the ops. We're going to lay down the ops. Talking about one another. We're going to knock somebody down. But for some odd reason, man, when, um, once again, like I say, this is hypothetically, not even talking about no situation in particular, but when, um, when, uh, J Bo, you feel me? get killed by officer robertson you get what i'm saying that's when everything stops like it's no retaliation you know what i'm saying there's no oh well you know we can't we can't we can't do that over here we can't do that over there now of course i understand bro they're gonna be like well bro who gonna war with the law enforcement like that come on bro that's done that's a suicide mission you, and, and that's right you are right that is a suicide mission but at the same time, bro, I'm trying to figure out how come we don't have that same mentality when it comes to my brother? How come we don't have that same, the same way how, you feel me, if the homie Ricky get hit in the alley, right? And we finna go load up, troop up, you feel me, and go over there. How come we can't have that same effect? Like, ah, oh, nah, bro, we could, we don't want to do that. And I remember the old, I mean, last night the old head was like saying like, bro, I'm going to be real. In the 60s and the 70s, bro, we were a time bomb. We were a time bomb, bro. Especially starting with uh, government assistance. Uh, the, the father can't be in the house. So that was able how, you know, women can be able to be on government uh, government assistance. Um, jobs, so on and so forth. They, uh, they, you know, shut down the factories, the GMCs, the motors and all that stuff was out here. You get what I'm saying? And I know him telling me that, bro, I can vouch. My papa came from Akron, Ohio. You feel me? Matter of fact, today is his birthday. I love you, papa. R.I.P. I'm my bad. I did take a sip earlier. I know you against drinking and I, I really, it kind of slipped my mind. I'm sorry just to sub, but you know, I just want to give, you know, I love you, papa. You feel me? I know I don't sip on this day, but anyways, my papa came out here. You feel me from Akron, Ohio to work like in those factories. So I know that for a fact when that, when that stuff starts shutting down, then you have to, you know, the Panther party or whatnot. Um, you know, um, uh, what else I was, you know, just, you know, um, integration you know what i'm saying like you feel me like <clears throat> so much stuff that was going on so you know we were just you know the, just the time bomb bro like people wasn't you feel me just the black man just in general and he let it be it was easier to trip on one another and instead of me getting mad and tripping like what like what that's some cowards that's some first of all i had to really dig deep inside myself and i had to understand what he was saying like, real talk, bro. I had to really, like, dig deep. Like, okay. Because I was thinking, like, oh, that's a, that's a coward move. You know how you talk to somebody, like, oh, bro, then bang where you from. Or, oh, bro, then up his thing. Woo, woo, woo. Like, you feel me? That's a cat. You know how that's how I looked at that situation. That same situation, what he told me when he said, bro, it's easier to trip on me and you. It's easier to trip on ourselves than to trip on the people that we really have a war with. Or we we really have a problem with. It's easier to that. It's easier to do that. It's self-destruction. Very much self-destruction. And then 
by the time we realized what was going on. And he even kept it. He was like, bro, some people even knew what was going on. And they still went with that option because they were walking time bombs in the 60s and the 70s. That's why, the you know, the Panther um, group formed and whatnot. And they did what they had to do. And I had to really look at that like, dang, bro, I didn't I didn't look at it like that. Like they was a walking time bomb, bro. They, it, it could be anybody though, bro. They gon' they gonna trip on the enemy. They're gonna trip on brother, sister, auntie, whoever. They're gonna trip on whoever, bro. They just we were walking time bombs, bro, because how we were getting treated. And I'm like, damn, you know what's crazy? It made me, you know, I'm just looking at things kind of different. Cause it's like, damn, bro, I felt that. Now looking at things, bro, I felt that. Like, cause we always say this, bro, right? Okay, cop killer, right? But how many, once again, I'm not saying kill, no, nut. But how many, of, we saying it, though, in the songs, F12, F12. But then when 12 actually do something or something happens, we we still, F, like, we still, we not doing that. But then, like I say, when somebody get killed from over here, bro, we loading up. No problem, no hesitation. You get what I'm saying? No hesitation. And I would have thought he said that. He didn't even say so much that it's easier to get away. He just said that it's easier to retaliate. That was kind of different. I would have thought he would have been like, oh, well, shit, if I let you down, they not tripping. No, he was saying, bro, it's like we both understand this mission. We know we know, we know, know what they're doing to us, but we'd rather kill each other. Yeah, that's, you know. I don't know, you know. Like I said, that's... That's my take on it. But I don't know everything. Like I say, bro, I, I like to, t anybody in the comment section, let me know, bro. I like to learn, bro. I've always been like that, bro. I've always been observant, bro. That's why I call my thing what I call my thing, bro. I always like to, you know, just like to get people like it. I'm unbiased, bro. You feel me? I play advocate all the time, bro. I always look at like, okay, what if this situation would have happened? Or what if this situation would have happened? Even if I do feel a certain way, it's just, you know, I'm unbiased with a lot of things, but... If y'all could just, you know, just go in my comment section and let me know because it's just a trip, bro. Just like how we were talking about, like, the, the Black Panther. It's crazy hell, bro, that the Bloods and Crips, right? We killing each other. That, that thing, that entity, that organization been lasting. <laughs> I know people are like, nah, ain't no entity. But that organization has been lasting. Gang banging culture has been lasting for over 60 years, bro. Well, close to 60. If not, close to 60. Yeah. Headed to 60, because 69, yeah. So, my thing is, right, the Black Panthers, give or take, I don't know, I'm going to say, well, we started probably by what's in the 60s. It got dismantled, what, probably, I'm going to say, in the mid-80s. So, what I'm saying is, like, bro, they found a way to get, whoever did, they found a way to destroy that. But they're keeping this blood and crypt thing going on. Because it's not as powerful. You know what I'm saying? Just imagine if it's it's powerful to yeah to us, and it's very influential to us, me included. But it, you know that's just a trip. You, you know what I'm saying? And once again, excuse me. Once again, I'm not saying oh yeah, go ahead and pick up your yah yah and go. You feel me? If you know on on a traffic stop, you feel me with a cop? No, I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying like, dang, how come we fro how come we don't have that same feeling that when they do something? Opposed to when we do something like it's not what how where did the feelings get drawn and get crossed? Because from my understanding, I like that. It don't tell me you scared. You get what I'm saying? But that's what Warren is about, right? You post who's they consider I, they lay one of your mans down. If you plan in this field, that's all I'm like. They lay one of your mans down. What you go you what you gonna oh no, we can't. I'm just saying if you feel like that, then have that same have that same mentality. With that black man in that other organization over there to stop it. Because I always said this, bro. What's going to stop, really? I'm, I'm, I honestly said this, bro. What's going to stop the BS, bro? I don't care about the age group no more. What's going to stop the BS is that people got to tap in. You feel me? People got to really tap in and say, hey, bro, if we done, you feel me? If we done, we done. Just like with the F-13s and the East Coast. Bro, if we done, we done, bro. Anybody get out of line, y'all getting smacked or y'all getting out of here. That's how it needs to be done, bro. That's how it needs to be done, bro. When anything, I'm talking about when you calling something. That, like I said, you're going to have violence regardless. I get that, bro. It's other situations that's going to lead to that. I, I, I get that, bro. But 
What up, Mick? How you doing, big dog? But, like I say, bro, it's just, it's certain ways how you carry yourself, bro. It don't always have to be back and forth. We warn and we lay up. Like, bro, you know, we should be past that, homie. We should be past that. It's about, it's supposed to be about investments. You know, you know, like I say, with even like with the game banger, bro, with the blue rags, the red rags, I don't care what nobody say, bro. We brought the bandanas out here, bro. Bandana's been around for, you know, since the Western days and all that stuff, since the cowboy days. But, bro, Chuck Taylor's, all that, bro, we should, bro, we we put that up there, bro. We made it jump. Dr. J and them had it because that's the original basketball shoes. I'll give you that. But I'm talking about different colors, bro. Blue Chucks, Red Chucks. That's like kind of like the, the code out here. I think it's kind of on East Coast, too. But if you got Red Chucks and Blue Chucks on, depending on how you look, bro, it's, it's finna go down. Just like a blue and red bandana. I just found out I didn't even know that GD's colors was blue. You get what I'm saying? So, and that's no disrespect to them, but, bro, if, if I see a person with a blue rag, bro, I'm automatically thinking ripping. I'm not thinking no GD's, and I love my GD's. You feel me? But, yeah, bro, it's it's just crazy, bro. I didn't mean to get off subject, but, yeah, it's, it's just a trip how, yeah, it's just a trip. But the, the response that I got last night, that was kind of, that made me look at things kind of different, like, okay, that's, and they were also young too. They were young as well. So, gravitation with observation, man. I'm not saying I'm right. I'm not saying I'm wrong. If we disagree, just go ahead and move on. You feel me? But drop that comment in the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe. You feel me? Holla. Sub. Whoop.